I bought a Magic the Gathering collection in a parking lot. It came in three parts. A massive four row box, another long box filled with decks, and now we're on to the third part which is a massive binder filled with reserve list cards. I've already took a look at a few of the cards that are already in this binder so I know it's guaranteed to give us some great hits including some reserve list gems. Mostly from the Urza's block. I'm super excited to open this up with you guys and I can't wait to share all the cards with you. With that being said guys, let's check out what's in this binder. Okay, here it is. I gotta be really careful because this binder is like ridiculously heavy as you guys can see. It is absolutely thick. It is one thick boy. And as you can see from the first page, we already have some decent cards here like Crawl Space. Uh, we have some other rares from Urza's Legacy. Avalanche Riders is also a really good card. So let's turn the page here. Oh my god. Jeez, this is just unbelievable. Cloud of Fairies, Crop Rotation, Brink of Madness. Oh my god. Deranged Hermit right there. That's <laughs> Yeah, so this binder is literally falling apart. Oh my god. So this binder is literally falling apart. So I gotta be very, very careful as I'm going through this here. I wish there was a better method, but fortunately this is it. Range Hermit, great card. Delusion, delusions of Mediocrity, Defense Grid, Defense of the Heart, Damping Engine at the top. Jeez, this is absolutely insane. Fairy Conclave, again, we've got a few of those in the collection so far. Frantic Search, Fleeting Image. Jeez, look at this. Obviously, anything that's uh, $2 or more, you'll see it on screen, like Goblin Welder right there. Uh, moving on to the next page. Oh my god, Iron Maiden at the bottom there. Jeez, this is so cool. Last Ditch Effort, Levitation. Karmic Guide at the top, Memory Jar, Maltani, more reserve list, Mother of Runes, Molten Hydra. This is just insane. So what a, what a throwback this is. When was the last time you've seen a binder like this preserved with old cards? And I think it looks like it might even be in alphabetical order. I might be wrong on that, but geez, this is uh, pretty, pretty wild. Look at that. Pixelor Amulet as well. Oh my god, Radiant Archangel. This is just so cool. Ring of Gix there. I love to see it. Scrap Heap, Spawning Pool, Subversion. This is just so cool. Treetop Village, Thran Lens. Oh my god. If I see any like really thing that jumps out here, we have Tinker. Oh, I'll let you guys know, but I'm sure you guys are getting a good picture right here of everything. I'm trying to get them all on screen. I think I got it. I think I got it just far back enough. Let me see if I can get this a little bit. Yeah, the light just so it's not super reflective. Weather Seed, Tree Folk, another reserve list card. Altar of Bone, another great card. Now where it looks like we might be getting into Ice Age. Okay, so it looks like it's also in alphabetical order. So that is pretty cool. Great artwork here, love that. Arkham's Whistle, some of my favorite artwork ever in Magic the Gathering by Quentin Hoover. Jeez, this is so cool. And there's some uh, reserve list cards as well in Ice Age, like Blizzard. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. I think Call to Arms is also reserve list. We got a brainstorm there at the top. Jeez, this is so cool. Oh my God. This is such a blast to go through this, guys. This is literally, this is unbelievable. Counter spell. I used to buy collections similar to this before I started a, the YouTube channel back in like 2016, 2017. I used to find collections like this and that's obviously getting a lot harder. So I'm super excited to actually find one out there in the wild while well, they technically contacted me via email, but I'm super happy they did. Demonic consultation. Jeez, Dance of the Dead. Just unbelievable. Earthlink, Earthlore. Look at all these great, so many reserve list cards too from Ice Age. Uh, some of the cheapest reserve list cards from uh, Ice Age and Homelands. So uh, something to look out for if you guys are collectors of reserve list cards, but geez, there's so many cool cards to look at here. Oh, Glacial Chasm as well, another really good card. Look at this. I, I know it gets into Urza's at some point uh, again, and also Visions. Hurricane, look at this. Hymn of Rebirth, what a throwback, yeah. Carlsupian Forest, we got some uh, older islands there as well. Okay, moving on to the next page here. Oh wow, lava tubes, some of the lands here are just so weird from Ice Age. Um, apart from the snow lands, those are ones that people still use to this day. Okay, Stronghold, that was a reserveless card there at the top. Some mountains as well, Monsoon, another mountain. So there's a few cards missing, but Mystic Remora is another decent card, fairly uh, expensive. But um, yeah, some of them were either pulled out or they were sold separately. Um, pretty curious, because I want to buy more off of uh, this gentleman, but 
Um, we'll see. We'll see. I really do want to buy more because uh, there is a few reserve list cards that are missing. Uh, obviously, some more Urza's cards. He said he also had Urza Saga stuff, and we haven't seen that yet. So I'd be really excited to see what else he might actually have because this is just such a throwback. And I use some of this stuff for uh, patrons, some of the stuff for giveaways. So it really does help out the channel, not just for content, but also uh, for products and uh, cards for the channel and the channel members and stuff. Then we go, yeah, of course, we're gonna get all the Snowlands as well on top of that. Skeleton Ship, that's a good one too. Wow, this is so cool. Snowfall, we got the Snow and Rain there as well. Oh, this is so cool. And then we're finishing it off right here with a nice Timberline Ridge. Old Sword and Supply Shears there. Time Bomb, Tinder Wall. Yeah, geez, Urza's Bobble as well, another good card. Just uh, the amount of times I could say that in this binder is wild. This is just crazy. Yeah, look, this looks like it's the end there. Zeron Orb is also pretty good. Okay, so let's uh, move on here. Look at that, right off the bat. They're getting back into Urza's. We got Academy Rector right there. Jeez, Aura Thief, Blizzard Elemental, Attrition, just bangers. When you get back to Urza, you know you got some banger cards here in this set. Jeez, look at that. Bubbling Beetle is also a good card. Bubbling Muck is a good card. Caltrops, Carnival Souls, another reserveless card. Covetous Dragon. Jeez, Donate, another reserveless card. Just, it doesn't stop. False Prophet, look, look at this. This is probably the most exciting part of this uh, three-part collection buy. Just because I love going through binders, it's just something about a uh, collection and a binder that just seems so old school, you know? You don't see that that much anymore. It's almost always just going to be contained in decks. But when, you know, back, uh, especially the older sets, they were more like collectible. There's more set collectors, so people actually had their cards in binders, not necessarily in decks, because uh, people, while they did play the game, there was also a lot of collectors. Now I feel like it's a lot more about playing the game, which is which is fine, but you have uh, less collectors out there. You have everyone just kind of throwing them into decks. Uh, to play, which is completely fine. You know, there's 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 a lot of ways to enjoy Magic the Gathering, and, and I just love this. It's like a walk down memory lane. Master Healer, Massacre, another reserve list card. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my god, Opposition as well. Pattern of Rebirth. Yep, that's pretty sick. Phyrexian Negator as well. Powder Keg, that's a reserve list card. Rapid Decay, it just doesn't stop. There we go. Oh my god, I was gonna say, do they have Replenished? Yeah, that's a pretty big money card right there. That's like probably like 80 to $100 if it's a near mint. So repercussion as well. Holy cow, guys, this is actually insane. Rothalos Lanar Emissary, another great card here. I think that's also reserve list. Jeez, yeah, definitely one of those elves that you want for uh, for any sort of like uh, commander deck that has elves in it. You don't really need it for elves necessarily. But Urza's Incubator, not reserve list, but it is pretty expensive. Thran Dynamo, oh my God, this is so cool. Temporal Adept Storage Matrix. Jeez, Wake of Destruction. Oh my god, just love the Urza's block. Yavmaya Enchantress as well. And now we're getting into, it looks like uh, we have Visions here. So many good cards in this side too. Jeez. And yes, anything $2 or more, I'll actually have them in front of the cards on screen with a little price point for you guys to see. So you might see like four or five at the same time. It's like a really good spread. City of Solitude's great card. Coercion. Oh my god, this is so cool. I can't even believe this. This is so wild. I've never had a collection like this on the channel yet, so I'm so happy to actually receive one like this that we can all go through together. Forbidden Ritual as well. The Oh my god, the Enchantress at the top. Helm of Awakening. Goblin Recruiter. Griffin Canyon. Where does it stop? Where does it stop? This is so cool. So many good cards in this set too. Visions. I think uh, the original Vampiric Tutor's in this. I'm not sure if it's going to be in here though. Ooh, Natural Order. That's pretty sweet. That's a good one. So uh, if that's in there, maybe I'll, maybe it's possible that we're going to get uh, the Vampiric Tutor. But we also have Phyrexian Walker there. Not bad. Phyrexian Marauder. Jeez. So many good cards. The Ranger as well. Quicksand. Prosperity. Jeez, it just does not stop here, guys. This is just insane. To say Ring Summer Bloom, Sulman's Legacy. This is just unbelievable. It's Fairy's Realm. So many cards. Triangle of War. Undiscovered Paradise is another really good one on that land. Okay, so it looks like we might have. Uh, yeah, we have Vampires in there. So it would have been like probably right there. Vampiric Tutor, or uh, or actually here, might have been. Uh, no, actually no, it would have been there at the top. So we are missing that one, unfortunately. We got the Warthog. Yes, the Warthog is back in business. Okay, now, oh my god, okay, so we're getting into some Fifth Dawn stuff now. So, Foil Auric Champion, that's gotta be pretty good there. 
like what at least thirty dollars or more it might have been worth a lot more than that in the future peaking new mortality is another good one uh, we have uh the roar of reclamation jeez this is so cool <laughs> steel shaper's gift that's another really good one beacon of tomorrow's uh, so i think we might have all the beacons in here artificer's intuition another foil rare from this block oh my god blink moth and fusion condescend just doesn't stop doesn't stop serum visions used to be worth so much more than it is right now oh my god yeah beacon of unrest it looks like we have uh, pretty much all the beacons now oh my goodness this is so cool i think it's yeah lost hope is another decent card i think this yeah i think it's just one side now so i can kind of shift it over a little bit we have relentless rats love that card bringer of the red dawn cosmic larva we have another beacon there magma jet mana geyser and foil magnetic theft this is incredible reversal of fortune i love the artwork on that one too just glorious artwork almost like looks anime style uh, beacon of creation yep channel of suns dawn's reflection and the f and a foil eternal witness holy cow wow it's been a while since i've seen that in foil that's crazy joiner adept fresh ferocious charge jeez this is so cool this is like by far the coolest part of the collection like i feel like i feel like it's back in the day right now and i'm like buying collections and like looking at collections online while i'm at work <laughs> this is so cool yeah so we have the arcbound wander there as well blasting station Let's keep it moving here. Clock of Omens, Composite Golem, Clearwater Goblet, Crucible of Worlds. Yes, that's awesome. Door to Nothingness, Energy Chamber as well, Cranial Plate. It's just so many good cards in Fifth Dawn. Like the whole like Mirrodin Block and Dark Steel. It's just so many good cards. Engine Explosive, Eon Hub. It just doesn't stop. Seriously, Fist of Suns. So many good cards. Grinding Station and Foil. Okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Helm of Cauldra. KCI at the bottom there, Lantern of Insight, Mycosynth Golem, why not? Un literally, just the amount of value in Fifth Dawn is, is unreal. Even just the commons and uncommons. Paradise Mantle, that's another uh, uncommon, probably around $5. The Bracers. Oh my god, Salvaging Station as well. So much amazingness here. Oh, there we go. So we got Vidalcan Shackles here at the top, Wayfire's Bauble. Um, and then we get some cards, and we're getting into a Theros here. Interesting. Anger of the Gods. Uh, not too much value in Theros, apart from, like, maybe Thought Season and a few other uh, God cards. But, yeah, so uh, not not bad. Interesting that we're going to Theros, though. I would have preferred more of the older stuff, but this is pretty cool. And it looks like it might be in alphabetical order, too, which is uh, really helpful for when I look up uh, the prices of a lot of these. Bow of Nelia, Chain of the Rocks is actually not bad. Curse of the Swine, that's an okay one as well. So... Yeah, not bad. Destructural Revelry and Foil, that's pretty good. Um, not sure what that's value-wise now, but uh, that was a, a card you could use in Modern. Um, I used it as a sideboard card for my Modern Burn deck. Pretty cool. I like that we're getting some of the tokens as well. Some tokens could have uh, some decent value. Heroes Downfall. This is just so cool. Magma Jet, yeah. Pretty, pretty wild. Still looking for the Thoughtseize here. I don't know if we have it, but we do have a Nyctos Shrine and Nyx there. That is pretty good. So if you're playing any like a uh, monocolor deck and commander, that is a very, very good card for that. Super powerful land. Oh my God, this is so cool. Yeah, so I haven't seen, it doesn't look like there's a Thoughtseize here. Maybe I'm going crazy. Prowler's Helm, pretty good. Yeah, this is a, this is a throwback as well. And then we're getting some more tokens there. Some tokens that you rarely ever see. Pretty sweet. And then yeah, we get more there. Spear of Heliod. I think we're getting down pretty close to the wire here, uh, the temples. Swan Song is actually pretty good. That's one of the better rares in this set. Travels Amulet and Foil. There we go. Thoughtseize. I was just going to say, uh, I was hoping to see that. And there we do. We do have it. So the Thoughtseize as well. Very, very nice. Oh, geez. So cool. Um, no gods. The Whip of Erebos. Not bad. Very, very cool. And then the Warrior's Lesson. Is that it? I think that's it holy cow guys i have to say that was an incredible ending to this collection let me know what your favorite card from the entire collection was or specifically for this video because there's a lot of cards that just right at the top of my head i think of replenish is probably one of my favorite ones even the nykthos at the end there from theros just a lot of great cards oriox champion and foil honestly i think a, a big portion of the value of this collection buy probably came from today's video today's video might have had more value in this binder than the entire collection it's quite possible i'm not 100 sure i have to go back and research some of the prices but again just a ton of reserveless cards 
a ton of vintage cards, a, a real blast from the past, a lot of nostalgia in today's video. So I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave a like down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel because I have a ton, a massive library of random buys, whether it's thrift store random buys, eBay, or even collections like this locally. So please go check those out down below in the description in the playlist. And also I will see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned because there might be some more random buys coming in the next few weeks. I'll see you then.